So th in this video, we talk about superhydrophobic surfaces, and uh, this is very much linked uh, to droplets. And uh, that is why also we had uh, the, the introduction to droplets before. So, as you heard in a previous video, superhydrophobic surfaces are, uh, are where uh, the work of adhesion approaches towards zero. So it is very easy to move uh, water on these surfaces. They are really highly water repellent. And uh, in, in this video, we talk about um, contact angle and wetting on such surfaces. These superhydrophobic surfaces can be formed on micropatterned surfaces, uh, which are also hydrophobically coated. And uh, these appear in nature, and these have also been replicated in uh, engineered systems. And uh, we will talk about uh, situations on rectangular micropillars and then also in uh, nature. And so we have to start again from here. And uh, this you have seen already. Uh, the equilibrium contact angle can be expressed as such. And uh, this one here is an actual droplet uh, under the microscope or in front of the microscope uh, in equilibrium on a hydrophobic, normal, regular hydrophobic surface. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, rough surfaces. So what happens uh, on, a, on a rough surface? First, uh, let's take a closer look at uh, at a micropatterned surface, and uh, this one is just uh, any kind of uh, micropatterned surface that, that you might have, uh, whatever the pattern is, it doesn't have to be regular. Uh, if you look at it, the projection area or the projected area of uh, your rough surface will be this one, which if you look at it, is just the area that you, that you look at, whatever the cross section is. But the real area takes into account also the roughness. So all the, these uh, micro patterns that uh, this surface has. So this is the full surface area. And the roughness factor is defined as the fraction of the real area and the projected area. Now, if we have rectangular micro pillars, which means a regular array, so these are all of the same size, with a, with a length or with an edge of size A and with a distance of B in between them. Pitch distance would be uh, A plus B and uh, this is the circumference or the, the, circum or the, uh, the circle that can be uh, uh, ascribed around the, the rectangle. If you have uh, rectangular micropillars with side of A and distance of B and height of H, then uh, if you have a homogeneous interface, which means that here are your uh, regular micropillars, with this being a micropillar, height is again H. Uh, the side is A and distance between the pillars is B. And then homogeneous interface would mean that you only have liquid to solid interface for your drop. Then it looks like this. And the roughness factor is calculated as such. And if you substitute that to this uh, expression of, uh, of the contact angle, so this one is uh, your equilibrium contact angle on any surface, uh, roughness factor, and then this uh, contact angle for the so-called Wenzel state, where the interface is uh, homogeneous. For rectangular micropillars, if you substitute the roughness factor, then you can calculate the contact angle as such. And this is how it looks in reality. Uh, this would be your surface, and on that stands your uh, droplet, which is uh, 
on a slightly more hydrophobic uh, surface than, than average. Um, so this is a surface which uh, has some roughness and is also coated with uh, some, some hydrophobic layer. It's a picture that I took myself uh, a decade ago. Now, um, if you have, uh, if you hit the right range and you get uh, an inhomogeneous interface, which up close looks like this, that the droplet sits on top of your micro pillars it doesn't go inside, there's air in here. And this one is your uh, solid micropillar. Then interface will look like this. So the contact angle will be very high and you will get a super hydrophobic surface, which is extremely water repellent. Why is this important? It's important because of something that we will talk about in another lecture. Uh, of uh, digital microfluidics and the more specifically electrically controlled wetting where uh, if you want electrodes that are easy to clean or which uh, offer an easy movement of liquids on top then you need to realize this and how you realize this is by micro patterning and coating with hydrophobic coating so again the pillar structure is regular uh, you have rectangles with side A and distance B and height is not uh, factored in here. But then the roughness factor for this uh, so-called Cassie state is uh, calculated as such. And um, the contact angle is composed of the two uh, uh, sections, one being where the liquid is over the air and where the liquid is in contact with your micropillar. So these sections are added up and uh, if you express and substitute then uh, you get this uh, as a way to calculate this uh, uh, contact angle for the Cassie state from the equilibrium contact angle. This is a good estimation that uh, you can get and uh, that you can use uh, to, to estimate before you actually measure. This is again a, a, an image that I took uh, 10 years ago on a, on a micro pattern surface that, that we made in, uh, in Hungary. So this is uh, our micro pattern surface up close that, uh, that we created. And here the pitch distance is uh, 30 microns. It's a, a microscope image taken from a, an electron microscope. And uh, this surface, in addition, is coated by a fluorocarbon hydrophobic layer to, to make it uh, super hydrophobic. Uh, in nature, you see examples of uh, super hydrophobic surfaces on, uh, for instance, lotus leaves. This is a, a close-up uh, computer image. It's not an actual image, but a computer image of uh, a lotus leaf up close. It has... a uh, uh, a paraffin layer coating the leaves and it is also micro patterned and lotus leaves are known in uh, in uh, uh, Japanese culture for their cleanliness and that is because of the super hydrophobic effect so it is extremely water repellent and uh, yeah this is also a uh, this is a drawing that uh, that I already gave you with some additional details so one phase with uh, uh, where the contact is between uh, uh, solid and liquid and the contact is between uh, liquid and air. And uh, then, again, this is the calculation of the contact angle for this state. So these are uh, high-speed close-up videos of uh, water droplets being pipetted onto such uh, superhydrophobic surfaces. It was just... Uh, a demonstration of how these uh, surfaces behave when, uh, when, when water lands on them. If you look at contact angle to uh, pitch distance relation, then uh, this is how it looks like or what you get uh, experimentally measuring. So these are uh, various uh, surfaces that we made with uh, different pitch distances. 
and uh, the variation of uh, the the contact angles so you enter the Cassie state somewhere above that uh, line and then you see something like this that's a super hydrophobic surface under that you have uh, this so-called Wenzel state which is uh, uh, actually the transition is somewhere around here so Wenzel state, Cassie state and just regular hydrophobic uh, surfaces so this one is uh, already above average in terms of hydrophobicity and this one is the super hydrophobic surface just so that you know about this and uh, please keep this in mind for uh, lecture number five and uh, six uh, the one about fluid mechanics too and then the one about uh, uh, actuators so in, in this video we talked about super hydrophobic surfaces uh, namely contact angle and wetting on micro pattern surfaces engineered surfaces with rectangular micro pillars and also mentioning where these can be found in nature mm -hmm.